All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, April 6th to April 12th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you like the way I read our cards and you're interested in learning, reading the cards that way. I'm offering as well online tarot classes in which I'm going to dis dis uh, explain you, not describe you, but explain you every card in its career, in its relationship representation, negative, positive, and as well how to read it in a dedicated positions in spread. So that being said, uh, moving to the reading straight away, <clears throat> the first one, the first card which represents the topic, the very theme of your week is going to be the Six of Wands. Followed next, we do have uh, the energy which is feeding and supporting the topic here that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Moving next, we have the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week that will be uh, the Devil card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week. And uh, it looks like that this uh, this week itself, looking at from those cards, it will be like a uh, unexpected, um, can, can we say that it is a turnaround? It is like you are at the bottom of it and then you end up on the top of it. Like, ev or like all of a sudden, it's going to be that way. Um <clears throat> So it's like from being a loser, all of a sudden you are end up being a, a winner into the situation. So that, that is described by those four cards. And uh, just one second here, because I got them all wrong. So they are like that. Okay. So next one, it will be in terms of how people are, uh, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around. We do have the hangman and the final one, which is the guidance that Tara is offering to you. That will be the Hierophant card. So those uh, those six cards, <clears throat> which four of them, the last four of them, are a major arcana. Okay, so let's uh, look at the first couple of cards here. We do have the energies of the Five of Pentacles. And those energies are um, showing how well you are going to tackle with the problems you are experiencing on every front in your life. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to have problems in every front of your life. But the card here points that within this week, you're going to pick up yourself together, if you will, kind of like get a grip and address every issue that you are facing. If that's a one issue, you are going to address it. If that's a hundred issues, you're going to address every single one of them. And by doing so, you are to see that actually those issues are not as big as you thought they are, okay? So they, they are like a trifles for you. And uh, that it is easy uh, for you to just re resolve those issues, to, to kind of like overcome the problems that you are facing if you attend to them as well. Uh, of course, excuse me. So what happens here with uh, the energy, it is that instead of um, believing into the doom and gloom, if you will, you are to get the things in your own personal hands and by incorporating actions appropriate for the issue that you are facing, leading you to the situation itself of the Six of Wands, which Six of Wands is about reaching peak of experience, okay? Triumphing, but not like the chariot against all odds. This is triumphing because you have put the necessary measures behind. Now, what that triumph is going to bring you? Well, the Six of Wands usually brings you the rewards you deserve. It brings you the appreciation you fought for as well. And it generally gives you the milestone that one is trying to adopt or one is trying to reach. So they can have their goal in a more clearer fashion moving forward. So you can see alone here, Aquarius, that this week, it is the week where you are clearing the, the debris around that are depriving you from having a, a clear path moving forward, from having a, a clear way uh, of a vision, if you will, how to become better or, or more successful into your career and how to become more successful relationship-wise as well. So in a more practical level, those two cards could point and are pointing 
that whatever issues you do have in your relationship, that week you are to resolve those issues. Whatever difficulties you are facing in your career, this week it is the week where you are prevailing over uh, those difficulties. Now on a more negative note, this week doesn't look like that is going to give you anything new, okay? So for example, if you are single, then the week is going to um, make you cope with the singularity in a more easier fashion. In other words, you're not going to miss not being in a relationship, okay? And you're going to learn to enjoy yourself, again, reaching the peak of experience in there. So that is on a more negative note and a more negative um, represent <clears throat> representation or interpretation of the cards. But whatever the case is with you, whatever issues you are facing, at the end of the day, you are not going to feel like you are um, smothered or oppressed or like stifled by those issues and by those problems. Because the very least, once again, you are, you are going to find a way how to do the most out of whatever you are having at your uh, at your disposal here and uh, that leads us to the next one which is the challenges that you need to overcome so imagine this picture okay you have been up until this point a bit kind of like oppressed in a certain situation either career or either relationship wise and suddenly you start resolving the issues in there okay so suddenly from being on the loser uh, on the loser side you are more and more moving toward the winner side and that gives you the um that actually opens you a lot of options available but because you are having a kind nature within you you may think that taking advantage of those options available it's not fair for the universe, if you will, or for the rest that are around you. And that will be the challenge for you for throughout this week, to use those openings, to use those options available in order to make to meet your means or to meet ends in terms of your goal, in terms of your love, you know, in terms of your, your career as well. So uh, if I have to give you an example of that, it is like resolving a big issue in terms of career, you know, uh, an issue that revolves to tasks, to a task, specific tasks give you the, is giving you the opening or the um, option available to go for a promotion, okay? But you may think that that's not fair because somebody else, someone else fought for that promotion more than you do. Well, that's not up to you to decide. As a matter of fact, the devil card in a negative position urges you to make a, to take advantage of the power given to you. Not given to you, but that you fought for. Because this is what we're talking about. You fight for having a, a domination and domination it is what you're going to get domination over um, the course of events into your relationship, into your career, uh, and in generally in your life as well, to a point where you alone are going to be able to force the circumstances you need in order to prevail or in order to be successful career-wise or in order to be um, happy into one relationship. But in order to face those circumstances, one needs to have a boss, and that will be the challenge for you. So uh, moving next, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. And the death card points that uh, I will say it that way, things are not going to be like this forever. And that mainly refers to the energy that you are going from a bad times into a good times. And that is what the death card points that you are gifted with the change that you need in order to uh you know make better living for yourself for your family for your career as well so that card points that you are to enjoy the right change at the right moment into the right place as well that could be a change in behavior in terms of your uh, partner that could be a change into or reshuffling into your career where a, a place is now open for you to take that could be the change into the project that you are hoping for that is going to give you the means to tackle with the project itself so uh, <clears throat> that being said the death card here it does point that whatever uh, it's taking place within your environment throughout this week 
it's something that you can definitely make a use of and not just only that but it can also replace a thing that it is not serving any purpose anymore okay so like a uh, uh, an enterprise that it is putting more strains than actually giving you benefits the death is going to take it away and it's going to replace it with a something uh with a something useful if you if you observe the card here uh, and again the card is relating to something that it is ongoing and i will try to explain you why that is uh, if you can see here we do have an emperor died okay the death came and took his life but there is another emperor taking his place therefore the empire at still at place so the death does not bring you something new it does replace the old with the new from the same magnitude from a the same caliber and uh, the next one it is the uh, impression that the people were going to have into you so that is going to be the death uh, not the death ex excuse me the hangman card uh, people are going to see you that you are changing perspectives okay that you are not as stubborn as you were before that you are not banging your head against the wall anymore but you are learning how to it's not even about adapting it's more like having a, a different view a different a different point again different concept a different perspective as well which is making you much more resilient to troublesome situations and especially to a situations that are causing a emotional distortion in a sense of that you uh, people are going to see that you are going to that you are going to have the belief that regardless of how bad it does look like eventually everything sorts itself out and that's that's something by the way that i have learned from a person that i work with uh, we were making a production and you know things are not going exactly as planned and he said just calm down all right at the end of the day everything magically sort it sorts itself out so uh, that is how the people are going to see you that is what kind of impression they are going to have into you and as well with the hangman the impression is that um, it's not like you can you can grasp the moment but it is more like the moment is grasping you that regardless of what you're going through at the end of the day is going to once again sort itself out so in other words people will see you ending up beneficial at the end of the day and the last card that we do have for you Aquarius that is to be the Hierophant card so the Hierophant it is uh, urging you not to force the things around in a sense of that everything has its own way how it needs to be manifested and you cannot uh, kind of like cut any corners you cannot try to be creative here uh, for example if you are going for a for a relationship you can't just go for the orgasm in it you know you first you first have to chat with the person you first have to start hanging out you first have to start dating afterwards the first kiss you know the um the first confession if you will these things needs to be in place before the relationship happens therefore as a guidance the uh, hierophant here urges you to have patience and just to go by the book very very important uh, in a more practical level the hierophant points that you should work or you should attend to job and business and enterprises for the sake of the enterprise itself you should not think about the rewards that you are going to get at the end because the rewards are going to find you on their own accord what i mean is that even at the start if by a contract the endeavor doesn't seem appealing definitely you are going to be compensated one way or another so if you do like something then you definitely should make uh, a participation into it and uh, if we're talking about relationship as a guidance with the hierophant it's uh, it's as simple as that everything goes through a mutual trust if you do, if you do not trust somebody no matter how, how much you love it or you love her you cannot be together because you are always going to be on your guard about they cheating on you about they not fulfilling promises and etc etc which could be related to the different concept okay that people are going to see you adopting so that being said guys this was your weekly general tarot reading aquarius for a april 6th to april 12th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and um 
once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well if you do like the way i read tarot cards you want to learn to read it that way you can sign up for my online classes and uh, there i'm going to de um, describe you or tell you how to interpret the card in term of career any card in term of career relationship uh, in a dedicated positions in the spread, in a negative way, in a positive way, and uh, ultimately at the end you will be able to link the card with any kind of question that comes at your place or at uh, or it is addressed to you as a reader. And uh, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you around. Until then, bye.